Hello, how are you doing? Do you like this island? <laughs> but um, the title is my project pen slash blow by. Yeah. Um, starting in, of course, this is the first video. I did the announcement uh, when I filmed my finale. So that's why the finale is kind of long. And I want to do something totally different because last year I had a problem with one of the eyeliners that it broke when I was measuring it. So this time I will only show you the sheet like I have ready. The things that I will be kind of using a tiny bit more. In my project plan, all my collection is in. So I will be doing like a rotation sort of brochure pan or each month I will get something different that is basically the foundation. So each month I will change the foundation. Uh, for example, I have this foundation, but I have another shade of this foundation too. So maybe this month it will be this shade, next month it will be another foundation, then I will go back this foundation but another shade so as like I said in the last uh, video I will link the finale down below I will be using things that I current use uh, so I will show you the items but I won't show you how long they are trust me I try to, to do my best uh, so on in red it will be the part that I cannot use and in green is the part that I can use. Once a month I will get these two sheets because one is for lips and one is for eyes. As I am in a no buy or low buy, the low buy basically is kind of not buying new releases even if they are face makeup. But I will be buying some stuff throughout January but there are things that I couldn't get in December or I didn't think very uh, thoroughly in December because I was kind of okay I need to get this this and that but I forgotten or I said okay I will leave this for January because of mon money wise or so many other stuff there are things for the face that I can use with the with the liquids or creams to set them and those things are going to be not considered in the low buy. My project pan it won't be a whole year. Um, the last video that I'm planning on doing is until the 31st of August. Because in that moment, I will decide if I continue my YouTube or not. So now with the, the stuff, I will show you the things that I'm going to be uh, using. But basically, it's the makeup that I use every day. So I measured some stuff. I will show you some stuff as well. And I need to be careful with some of the stuff because they are kind of, I hit pan of them on them but they're very um how is how is it said how is hmm. uh, they're soft they are breakable that i kind of be very not uh, like i i used to wear them before like i just go with a brush I need to go very smooth with a brush I will show you the products that I will be focusing more in this project pan, at least in January. One is this foundation powder or a face powder or a setting powder or whatever. It's the one that I hit pan. I will take a photo so you can see. So this is the foundation powder. It's very fragile here. Um, 
but it is it's thin I used it quite a lot all year long so and I have a backup so yes I will be using this concealer I have another concealer that is the uh, two new conceal one new concealer and my H Rewind that is in my collection but I will try to focus using this one I cannot measure this uh, but I bought it last year and I have a backup um, because I bought two of them in case of I need to lighten uh, a foundation if it's too dark but I've been wearing, I'm wearing it now these two mascaras they will be the next six months actually uh, I started using this in I don't remember but I think I started using it uh, some sort of on and off because I was using this a tiny bit more um, this one is waterproof this is not so this one is kind of uh, some days I'm wearing it right now but I brush my lashes with another mas mascara wand with no product so I will be using these two the next six months. I will save the the mascara wand and the the bottle because it's kind of cute. Uh, this one is kind of maybe three months from now instead of six. But I, I, again, if I, I don't have any problem, I will keep using it. Don't do that, but I will. And the last thing is the foundation. Uh, that is in here so it's barely new because I bought it uh, at the end of uh, at the last week of November so yes and I used it a couple of times I'm wearing it right now and it's uh, the call is light ivory I I want to have the lightest shade because you cannot see it but it's darker but I can make it work um, because it's a very skin like foundation but it's not for oily skin um, it's for normal skin and there is some time they will settle in certain areas like I have here a wrinkle that I don't know when that happened but I had it since I was like 25 years old. It happened from one day to another. I had a bad position it's, and that's it. Uh, on the forehead it's kind of okay but this line here I want to avoid it and I set it with powder, tons of powder. And the last thing that I want to show you is all the liners. I have lipstick and eye lip and eye not these sheets here so we have one that I wanted to go on the floor but basically I will show you ones that are for the eyes and the ones that are for the lips and before next update I will put the picture of the upgrade but I have the, the sheet here that is like blank don't escape <laughs> this is kind of just measured and the names of the stuff so you will see this uh, sheet um, marked with the ones that I used will I use everyone no I basically don't wear um, lip liners but I will try I will only use them if I want to change the color of the lip liquid lipstick that I have some um, so I have to exaggerate I have four from Rimmel to exaggerate uh, addiction and red diva I have to this a thousand kisses uh, a, some discontinued shade that is called white wild clover and wine this is not discontinued right here this is wine and I have an essence that is uh, draw the line 
Skin Fancy Blush. This is a pink tone. So those are the ones that are measured and the ones that I will show you the, the sheet later on. Um, I will uh, take a photo and I put it just after this. Now the turn of the eye. There, there are several eyeliners, several eyeliners, and one brow uh, stick or brow um, definer pencil, and I have them all here. I separated the the one that is um, the brow, so I can have all the eyeliners and the brow. I have two exaggerate, one in nude. That I've been using for a long time. I sharpened it uh, today. All of them sharpened today. The nude and the black. I have two lasting drama from Maybelline. Yeah. In silicone turquoise and polished amethyst. I have this one from these two are from the last Japan. And I have the Master Drama. I found out that this won't set. And it's really upsetting because when I take off my makeup, this black eyeliner goes everywhere. I have this um, Master Drama Light Liner in Gold Ray. In other countries, it's called a tiny bit different. I think it's a Starlight Gold or something like that. It's the same shade, I think. And the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and Dipsy Baby is a blue one. So, and the brow definer is Total Temptation in Deep Brown. So, those are the eyeliners I have. And of course, I'm not using them every day. We will see to these uh, eight months, what is going to be at the end. So yeah, even if it's just a tiny bit of a, um, my words today are kind of spot on. If I use them, my progress of the stuff, yes, things at the end, the things in the beginning, I will be very happy. Yes, these are the things that I'm using. Oh, I've forgotten a powder. I use this powder for setting, and it's very new because I still have the print on it. I don't know if you can see. Come on. I don't know if you can see. I just use a kind of, kind of bit. So, I need to get a backup because this was the backup for, for me uh, and I start using it. So, those are the, the shades of the things that I'm using currently. Of course, that I use all the products, but I will focus on those powder, concealer and foundation, the mascaras and I will sh I show you the things they are sharpened. And that's it. How I got this eye look. Well, at first I put the concealer as an eyeshadow base. And then I used from the nude edition this shade here in the crease. Then I used... Oh, I forgot. From this eyeshadow palette that is discontinued, I use this brown here to deepen a tiny bit, a tiny bit there. This eyeshadow palette was really good. I like these gold shades that I cannot dupe. Rima, what are you doing? And I used, I started, uh, I don't know why I just, so I used from the nude edition, I use this shade that is matte, and then this light gold in the inner part. 
Then I use from the electric uh, violet, I use this shade in the middle and from the wall edition I use this shade to make it a little bit deeper at the outer part. This shade. And from a spice edition. Yes, because I used <laughs> the four of them. Previous I applied this on the waterline and make a wing. On top I put this shade here. And I put this one, this metallic white in the very inner corner and as a um, brow um, brow bone highlight and in the waterline I use this brother that is discontinued by Rimmel this uh, two sides it's not part of the project plan but in this this shade here I, I'm trying to get um, trying to find if I can find a dupe of this one but from the, sup the supermarket, the drugstore, yeah, kind of. So, well, that's the, um, using five eyeshadow palettes to create this eye look, because there are five. Yeah, great. And I put some of the white just on the tip of the nose, because why not? Just a tiny bit what it was at the, le the left from the brush, I put it on the tip of the nose. But I'm wearing another highlighter, so yeah. So well, thank you so much for watching, and then I hope and I hope to see you in the next video.